Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. It's me, Dana, aka Triple C. Come on in. Hit the thumbs up. I'm so happy to be here. So happy that you are all here. Come on in. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to say happy Thursday to everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful Thursday, guys. We're in for a treat today. We are going to continue on with our jelly beanie that we worked on yesterday. So many of you were able to work on it with me. Um, and I'm going to be dropping that link again just in case if you want to do it. What I love about this amazing beanie that we're working on today is that is that it is full of texture, all right? And also what I love about this pattern from Loops and Love Crochet is that it is um, in every size. So you're going to get from the newborn all the way up to the adult. So you don't really see a lot of patterns that offer every single size. So with this pattern, it does do that. And I'm happy to uh, be able to do that with you. I'm going to be doing the newborn size today. The reason being is because I do want to create something that we can actually finish together. So many times I've created things that are on a larger scale or it doesn't get finished. And I just don't like leaving things incomplete. So today we're going to finish this baby up. I am doing kind of a Valentine's Day thing because Valentine's Day is around the corner, guys. And some of you are excited. You're going to be getting a little candy, maybe a little rose, maybe a little jewelry. Uh, maybe a little kissery. I don't know what you guys are going to get, but it's around the corner. So I just decided to make it uh, a little Valentine's Day thing. All right. So here's the craft. Uh, but before we get into greeting everybody and loving and everyone, I do ask that you please give me a thumbs up and I ask that you share the stream out. Give this link to a friend, tell a friend, email, text, whatever you want to do. Make sure you give my thumbs up and all those things. And I'm going to pray. All right. So what if, you, if you're in the chat and say you're blue, you know what to do. You can drop your links. If you're not blue, unfortunately, um, type CC and someone will drop your link for you. I do have to clear some blues out. Yes, uh, if you are a member, you will become blue. That's just how it works over here. Everyone's channel is different. Yes, I understand that. But I do that. Why? Because I have different perks for my members. Um, and so, especially starting the new year, there's going to be some new perks coming out. I have to go through and change up. So I do want to distinguish who is a member um, and who is not. So again, if you haven't joined the membership, I do have membership starting at $1. So uh, if you would like to join, feel free to join. Last night was an amazing members night where we celebrated the amazing members and their videos. Hope you guys get a chance to go back and check out some amazing content. All right. All right. I'm going to throw it out there. So I want to start with this prayer. But first, let me double today's crafting. I'm going to put today's crafting, guys. Let's do that. Let's do all that. Okay. So we do have Nightbot. He's one of my helpers. If you notice that Nightbot is in the building, Nightbot is dropping some of the VIP members links, some of the announcements on my PayPal. If you guys want to drop that ex exclamation mark PayPal, exclamation mark cash up if you guys want to donate. If you enjoy these crafts, some of you are like, I want to donate some yarn. I wouldn't mind. Here's a couple bucks. Purchase some yarn uh, or a pattern or whatever you want to do. A little lunch. Well, whatever it is you want to donate, you guys are welcome to do so. But before we get into the heavily talking, I want to talk to all of you and greet all of you because I love you so much. I do have to start with this prayer and I wouldn't be doing craft art for over two years if I didn't start with it. That prayer changes things that works. So I'm going to start with that and then we're going to have some fun. You ready? All right. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I come to you giving you glory and honor on this morning. Thank you for being who you are and giving us life on this morning because you didn't have to do it. So God, on today, I rejoice and I'm glad in the day that you made. God, I just give you glory. You're so awesome. And I'm just coming today as the end of the year approaches, Father God, and a new one begins. I'm coming to lay every burden down. I'm coming to lay every weight aside. I'm coming to give you all of my fears. I'm coming to give you all of my doubts. I'm coming to give you everything that doesn't belong to me, everything that clutters my mind, everything that makes me feel like I'm not good enough or inferior. I'm coming to give it to you on today. And I'm asking that you begin to replace it with power. I'm asking that you begin to replace it with strength. I'm asking that you begin to replace it with joy and happiness and peace and everything that you have. But God, I'm asking not only for me, but I'm asking that you begin to do it to my family, God. I'm asking that you begin to restore them, replenish them, fill them up till they overflow. God, I'm asking that you do it for all of us, all of your children that have 
called you father, that have recognized you to be the great I am, the king of kings, the one who sacrifices only begotten son. God, on today, I'm asking that you begin to do it for us. Some of us are tired. Some of us are weary. Some of us don't know what to do next. But on today, Father God, I'm asking that you begin to show us that we're the head and not the tail, that we are above and not beneath, and that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. On today, Father God, for those who feel weak, God, I'm asking that you begin to strengthen them. Touch those who are driving on this morning, those who are in vehicles. God, cover their vehicles and cover them from any hurt, harm, or danger. I bind the mechanical failures, accidents, police stops, slide-ins, and slide-offs. God, I ask that you get them to their destination and destination safely. Touch those who are fighting for our country in every service that they may be serving in. Father God, I am ask that you begin to touch their minds, their hearts, their bodies, their spirits, and their souls as they deal with loneliness, depression, PTSD, stress, anxiety, fears, doubts. Father God, I am asking that you begin to erase them and fill them up with you, Father God. God, everything that you have, God. Show them that they're capable of doing this thing and they're mighty and they're strong. Father God, as they risk their lives daily to be away from family, friends, loved ones, God, I'm asking that you begin to just put on the whole armor. Help them to put the whole armor on, God, as they're protected, as we sleep and slumber. Father God, they're fighting, they're negotiating, they're traveling. Some of them are being held hostage. Some of them are being mistreated. Some of them are homesick. So Father God, I'm asking that you begin to strengthen them for their journey. For those who come home or who are discharged, God, I'm asking that you begin to touch them and give them resources to keep their funding going, to keep their livelihood going. Father God, for those who don't make it home, Father God, touch their families and bless them, God, who are dealing with grieving and loss. God, I ask that you touch those who fight for our communities every single day. We have paramedics, firemen, police officers, those in the medical field. God, cover them and be with them as they risk their lives to keep us safe and healthy. Father God, touch those who are working on this morning, whether it be an employee, an employer, or an entrepreneur. God bless them and pour into them. Give them a great day, God, a prosperous day, God, a peaceful day, God. Touch the children who are in school buildings, the teenagers in the school buildings, the young adults in the school buildings, whether it be on break right now. Father God, give them strength through this break and help them to go back to school ready, fully fresh, as well as the teachers and the faculty and staff members. God, on today, I'm asking you to begin to touch those who are dealing with loss on this morning, whose hearts are broken on this morning, who's grieving on this morning, who's mourning on this morning. Father God, for those who are sad on this morning, everyone's not happy on this morning. God, I'm asking you to begin to help us to count every blessing, no matter what it feels like we lost, no matter what it feels like we don't have any longer. Father God, help us to help us to embrace what we still have. <laughs> help us to embrace everything that you've given us. Help us to think on the things that are lovely. And Father God, help us to reminisce on the loved one that we have no longer have. Help us to make them proud. Help, them, help us to make them smile. Help us to grab onto the things that they taught us and use them. On today, Father God, I'm asking you begin to touch those who are sick, Father God, whether they be mentally ill, Father God, spiritually, physically ill. Father God, on this morning, I'm asking for a healing because your word said by your stripes were healed. I believe in your word. I trust in your word. And I love you, God. You've never failed me yet, God. And I know that you never will. When I'm all alone, your word say that you'll never leave me nor forsake me, God. So even when I feel like I'm by myself, I know that you're there. Even when it feels like I've hit rock bottom, you're my rock. So I know I've had to hit it all the way down, God. I know that you're holding me up. When I cry, God, I know that it's you that's wiping my tears. And when I feel like giving up, God, I know that it's you picking me up and saying, you got this. So on this morning, Father God, I ask that you begin to just do it. Whatever you have going on, God, whatever blessings that you have coming, whatever whatever prosperous ideas that you have coming, Father God, whatever goals and dreams that you have, Father God, I'm asking that you begin to just do it, but don't do it without us. God, I ask that you touch everyone in prisons, jails, orphanages, rehabilitation centers, nursing homes. Those who are homeless on this morning, be with them and cover them, God. Sing your ministering angels, your guardian angels. Cover those who are watching right now in the replay, who are watching in the background. Be with them. Bless every seat of time. Thumbs up, commenting. Every super chat, every every cash app, every PayPal, every blessing that they begin to pour, in, pour into them. God, I ask that you cover this chat. I thank you for everyone that comes in. I don't take it lightly. God, give us a great day to craft together. God, to laugh together. I bind up technical difficulties, cyberbullying spamming, and I bind up any type of trolling. I love you, Lord. I give you all the glory. God, I give you all the praise. I pray this prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen, 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 amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all, I just want to say happy Thursday, y'all. This is my first live of three. I can do three lives today, guys. Isn't that awesome? Hey, as some of us don't know about all, all the live streaming, all the, I, I'm putting the work in, guys. <laughs> today is my three-day live stream, and I'm so happy to be able to do so. Can I tell you that? I'm so happy, right? Uh, I'm hoping you guys are happy as well, guys. I hope you have came in with some expectancy of a fun craft today because that's what we're doing. Yesterday, unfortunately, I did not have my apparatus, right, uh, to finish up my, to get my stuff together. And maybe a few minutes later after the live stream, guys, wonder out there, I found it. I don't know how I missed it, but I, I found it, all right? Uh, I guess my eyes aren't getting as bad. I, I, I saw this uh, amazing, funny video, and it says, I've been eating carrots all my life and I still wear glasses. Very, very hilarious because when we're kids, we're taught carrots will help your eyes grow. It will help your eyes get better, right? Uh, I don't know how much truth is it, it, truth it is in it. I'm not yet at the glasses mark. Uh, I, I feel like I could be there one of these days, but not yet, right? Not yet. I'm holding on to it. I'm holding on to it. So um, I'm going to say thank you for coming in. I'm going to greet everybody because we got a fun craft to do. We are working on the jelly beanie. All right. This is by Loves Loops and Love Crochet. All right. Loops and Love Crochet. And it again, it is the jelly beanie. It is a free fun pattern from sizes zero to uh, zero months or newborn months <laughs> all the way up to what I would say is let me see. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Today's craft. Let's see today's craft. Okay. Let me get that in here, guys. Let me get in here. You ready for this? Today's craft. That's today's craft, guys. You guys grab that up and enjoy it. If you are blue in the chat, you're on members. Please, please, please give me some announcements. What's going on? I do want to start reiterating these types of things. What do you guys got going on your channels? Any type of giveaways, new videos, whatever it is, please connect. Please put them in the chat so people can know. Also, if you are working on some new goals and some new things, please email me because next week is the new year and we have some new things going and I'm really going to be working super hard. Uh, if I got to grab a handful of members per month, uh, I want to go through and do some, you know, let's do some workings depending on, of course, whatever level you're on, but we're going to go through and we're going to go through your channels piece by piece for those who are ready. Again, I, I do want for those who are ready. Again, um, it's just like fresh fruit. If you're not ready to be plucked, I'll leave you there to, to, to grow and to ripen. All right, but when you're ready, uh, please let me know because I, I, I'm going to be coming at you full throttle and it might be like, you know, annoying to you if you are not ready. So if you're ready, you're like, oh, this is good. But if you're not ready, you're like, oh, please, this is overwhelming. So let me know when you're ready. Email me so we can get started. All right. Shout out to everybody who does join my membership. I thank you. We have Brett in the building. Gold Squad, Brett. Hello. Representing Indiana. All right. He is warm in Florida right now, visiting some family. So he gets to enjoy that weather. That's amazing. Shout out to Brett. Come on in. His command is exclamation mark. Brett, we have my husband who represents Team Gold as well and several other teams. He is in the building, guys. He is working super hard and I appreciate you for coming in. I thank you for everything that you're doing. If you don't have this young man, please grab him up live streaming Mondays and Tuesdays for bowling streams. All right. He's a, my husband and I appreciate him for all of his love and support. This feels definitely really amazingly good to see him in the building while he's working. I love you, honey. Very, very much. All right. Come on in. Come on in. My nephew Cammy is in the building. Welcome in. I hope you're doing so great today. I don't know what you're working on, but if you're working on anything in the chat, put it in the chat. What's, what's on your hook? What's on that needle? What's on that plate? I don't know what you got. What's in that cup, guys? Some of you are like, you know what? I'm not crocheting. I don't even have on a skein of yarn, but I do have some coffee in my cup. I do have a little egg and bacon on the plate. And so you tell me what you got going on, guys, because I'm so nosy. And hey, I want to see what you guys are going on. It's a Thursday. What's going on for your Thursday? All right. Uh, come on, nephew. We got Katrina in the building. Good morning to you, Katrina, representing Oh Canada. Guys, we got family from everywhere, right? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? I do like, that's one thing I do enjoy about the internet because we can become family and we've never even met each other. We can come be become family and learn about each other without actually seeing each other physically. But it's a beautiful thing. Um, and I love it. I definitely do. This young lady is amazing, guys. She is a new mother. Well, she's an old mother, but a new mother, guys. You know what I'm trying to say. She just has a, a new baby. And I'm not sure how old her baby is. I don't know. Maybe five, six, seven, eight months. Oh, she's going to get me. But I love the fact that... Um, She's doing some great things, you know, has she sent her daughter off to college after her daughter went off to college. I mean, now she's having a sweet little love joy and, and she's been working on some beautiful projects. So she has a beautiful model. Right. It's nothing like having a baby and your baby can be your model. 
I just appreciate this young lady, all of her hard work, her tutorials, guys. She does a lot of work on our channel. And so go over there, enjoy her live streams as well. All right. And enjoy what she's doing. Guys, I wonder out there, you are going to enjoy her. All right. And my husband says, I wonder what you're going to get for Valentine's Day. I don't know what I'll give her Valentine's Day. I don't know. I don't know. Valentine's Day is so weird for us sometimes. And, and our, like, when it comes to like these lovey dovey holidays for me and my husband, they're so weird um, because it's like anniversary, Valentine's Day, guys. It's always something. One year we actually went to church on Valentine's Day weekend. Seriously, we went and we stayed the night for the children because we're youth pastors and we stayed there the whole weekend. Uh, one year we actually cooked for the church. That's a whole nother story. Some of you already know that one. We were designated cooks for Valentine's Day. So when it comes to these type of holidays, I, I, I love them. You know, I love the loviness and stuff like that. But I also, you know, I, I feel like Valentine's Day can be any day because, you know, I'm a romantical person. <laughs> but I feel like it's just, you know, my husband's always been that guy. He's always sending me these teddy bears and candies. He's always done that. Like, I remember, like, like for years, he would always, like, the whole week of Valentine's Day, like, one day I get a teddy bear, one day I get a teddy bear and candy, one day I get a teddy bear candy and roses. Like, every day it would be something new. Like, I'm like, what am I going to do with all this? I have no room for this. And it would be amazing. So, uh, every day is Valentine's Day. So, but I'm happy. I'm ready. I, if you got something special planned, I'm ready to see what it is. I'm, I'm ready. My father is in the building. I love you, Dad. And um, he says, good morning to my beautiful daughter. And everyone, I thank God every day for giving me the world. What? Oh, my gosh. What is going on here? Shout out to my dad for that comment. Hey, guys, don't you love the comments? I love I love that. Thank you guys for love, Dad. You better stop it. That, that was really sweet. Um, I just appreciate my father for being here. Um, and it just feels good. Everybody that comes in, like, it's just, it's just a beautiful thing. I got a great family here. Y'all are the bomb.com. Can I say that? Can I just say it? Y'all are the bomb.com. If you haven't patted yourself on the back today, just do it. I haven't, so I'm doing mine now. I'm going to pat it a little bit. My shoulder's a little tender, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I, it's a blessing to have you guys, and just know that. If, you are, if you're here today, that means you made it. So don't care about what happened yesterday. If, if the bill might have got cut off or it almost did, don't care about if somebody made you mad. Don't care if you had a headache all day yesterday or even right now if your knee is gimpy and it's tender like mine is. Don't worry about that. Worry about that you made it because somebody didn't, guys. All right? It's a new year coming. So embrace every single moment that you have, every breath. Just embrace it. All right? Find a way to smile. Find a way to bring some cheer. And if you're just tired and grumpy, get some rest. You know, I had to learn it myself. That was one of the hardest things because I don't like sleeping. I like to stay up and do stuff. But the longer I stay up, I can get a little cranky. I can, you know, I can. And so I had to learn, like, you go, go to sleep. All right? Go to sleep. If you're if you're like that, it's nighttime. It's night, night time. I don't care if it's two in the afternoon. Go to sleep. Get your nap in. Lydia's in the building. You better get in here, Lydia. How are you doing? Thank you, Katrina, for dropping links for me. Showing some love. Shout out to Katrina for joining that membership. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, Katrina. You already know. You already know. We uh, we go all the way back. It's a it's an all the way back situation for us. And so shout out to you, Katrina. Thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Y'all make sure I show her some love, guys. Can we show some love, guys? Who's else going to join the membership, guys? We got membership starting at one dollar. That's one dollar. That means you're a moderator. I'm just doing out there. I'm doing out there. Some of you guys are tired of typing CC. Some of you're like, man, I need to get. Let me drop this thing. So go ahead and join it again if you do want to join other memberships, guys. I got memberships. Members who are getting all these other types of perkeries. Um, again, you don't have to do those type of perkeries. You can do whatever you want. But don't forget, if you are, don't want to join the membership and you're like, hey, I don't like stuff coming out of my card, you can donate through PayPal. You can donate through Cash App. But you can also buy some merch. These types of things will help the giveaways going on that I can be able to ship internationally every single day. Starting back in January, I will be back to my international shipping every day, twice a day. So that means your donations of Cash App, Super Chats, PayPal's, membership joinings, and merch buying, pattern buying, finished object buying, that helps me to continue to do that. I, I, you know what I'm trying to say? I wish I could just do it all on my own, but I can't. So your help is a blessing, and I thank you for that, all right? So shout out to everybody who's joined that membership, guys. I appreciate you. We got Oreo Mouse, my YouTube daughters in the building, guys. Oh, she's amazing, guys. I'm telling you, when she's not busy drinking chocolate milk, nougat, honey, she's coloring, doing crossword puzzles, or should I say word searches. She loves writing poetry, playing with her dolls, as well as going to the day center, eating a little breakfast, sipping some coffee, and just enjoying life. Y'all, I appreciate you so much for being in the building. Oreo, how are you doing this morning? Free Hanley is representing the West Coast or the West area, I believe. Mm, I'm, I'm, not, I'm the worst on the 
demographics at all times, but she's amazing. y'all. I love her work ethic. I love her hard work that she does. I love her live streams where she just invites everyone in, shows people what she's working on. I love the cabinery. You go over to her house, guys, you're going to see that cabin. Shout out to the cabin, guys. All right. I haven't been in the cabin since I'm like 11, 12 years old, guys, for a field trip with my school. And uh, it was nice. So, yes, I'm heading out to get my windshield replaced. Oh, no. I'm sorry about your windshield. But I'm glad you're getting that baby replaced. Because I'm like getting it replaced, right? You know, when something's taken care of, I mean, when something happens, it's like, uh, but when we're able to get that thing replaced, hello, cousin, cousin in the building. Her name is Angie, but some of you know her by her channel name, which is Loving Every Stitch by Ruby, baby. Shout out to my cousin who's in the building. If y'all don't have her, y'all grab her up, all right? She is off the chain. I just want to say that. I just want to say that, you know, not because she's my cousin, but because she's my cousin. I love her work, guys. She's been working on some firecracker patterns, and they're coming out. And I'm talking about sets. You know I'm a fan of settery. All right. I'm the Roger. I got some sets coming out, too. And I'm just looking at her sets like, round, loving it, guys. So check out what she has coming up soon for us to spend, okay? So y'all like, y'all ready to spend some money. So, guys, this is a young lady where the money is going to be spent very well, all right? I'm just going to throw it out there, y'all. Uh, shout out to everybody in the building that is dropping my links, like Katrina, you holding it down. I appreciate you so, so much. Again, I have all of my information in my about tab, my description box as well. Guys, you guys are so amazing, and I thank you so much. We got James in the building. Hey, James, money is in the building. And I always say, where the money at, James? He says, I'm not the glasses. You're not the glasses? You don't got your glasses either? He needs glasses. My husband needs his glasses, guys. He just wanted me to say that. He need, guys, the man hasn't worn glasses since he was in kindergarten, okay? There's one that are out there. And he needed glasses back then. So you know it's time for him to get something going on, all right? I'm just doing it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be time. I am crocheting a Chevron Afghan. What? Okay, I can't wait to see that because I know you were working on that and you wanted to get it done and kind of took breaks. You were working on multiple things at once. But I want to do some Chevron something very soon. So I can't wait to see that. Tonight uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern, you guys are welcome to come up on the craft hour with me or I should say the making me. It's Thursday. I've been doing that baby for three years. So you guys come up uh, for me tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern. Come up, show me what you're working on. Show me what you're working on. Show me your finished objects. If you want to show me your craft room, if you just want to talk about your channel, you don't craft at all, but you want to just come up and say, hey, Triple C, come on up. I would love to hear from you, all right? That's tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. Tell a friend about that thing uh, because I would love to get a little bit more feedback from you. And then I can also see some of your faces that I have never seen or haven't seen in a while, all right? Uh, let's see here. We got Katrina says, I'm working on a granny square cardigan. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Tell me more. Love it. She'll be six months. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why. I was trying to rush her a little bit. I don't want to say she's like seven or eight months. Wow. Wow. She was like, please don't rush her. I don't know if you want me to rush her or you don't. Like, you know, when we have babies, sometimes we're like, okay, mm, my baby can just take your time, you know? Uh, I think when, it's, when, it, when it comes to babies, there's like this little happy medium that you want. You like when they're super sweet and small because they're like sleep all the time and you just like wake them up and you want to love them. But sometimes they keep you up all night. You're like, oh no. Um, but then you have this moment where they're like, they're starting to get busy. So like you had to proof everything, like baby proof everything. You're scared they're going to stick your fingers in here. You're scared they're going to try to eat this. Like it's like, you're so frantic, but you want them to like frolic a little because you're like, give me a break, you know? And because if you put them up, they're going to climb back down. You're going to pick them up. They're going to climb back. And then they're going to start crying and whining. So you have to give them that open space. But then it's just like, oh, my gosh. Next thing you know, you're upstairs. You're not going to sleep. They're upstairs somewhere. They're screaming and hollering. They're in a bucket of Vaseline. I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. They're eating flour. The list goes on and on. It's not because you're bad parenting. It's because, guess what? You're tired. <laughs> uh, but I'm super excited. I don't know if you're ready for her to move on up or you're just ready for her to pace it, easy pace it. Uh, I, I wasn't ready for my child, to, or, or my first daughter to move, or my first only daughter. Uh, to grow up, but now I look back in this year at the end of this. Well, not this year, January in, in 2023. I will have a 21 year old daughter, and I remember just having her. I remember being 14 years old, pregnant in high school, in, in middle school, pregnant in middle school. Um, and I just remember her being born when I was in ninth grade, 15 years old, and it was like one of the most life-changing, beautiful things I ever had in my life. It was just like me falling in love for the first time. I saw this beautiful face and look like mine. And I saw this head of hair and I saw her cheeks and I saw her eye shape and her eyebrows. And I just fell in love with every little bit, her fingertips. And it was just, she was just mine. And it felt so beautiful to have something for me. Um, and I just, I love her so much and I love everything that she's doing. 
And it's just beautiful to watch her grow and to learn and to try things. And I mean, life is a trial and error situation. So I never want anyone to think life is perfect, but I love what she's on. I'm so proud of her. So again, children grow up super quick, guys, but I'm happy to say I have three beautiful children I share with my husband. Hello, Beverly Lee, guys. It is Beverly Lee's birthday, guys. Can we show some love to Beverly Lee? Happy birthday, Beverly Lee. Hey, Beverly Lee, all I want to say is happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Beverly Lee. Happy birthday to you. Now, again, you'll get your song from J-O-E later because, guys, I'm not the singer of the family. I am Songbird. But I just want to show some love to this young lady, guys, who is killing the game all over YouTube. Bible journaling, planning, crocheting, doing so many different things on her channel, guys. I'm telling you, paper crafting, card making, mothering, wifing, daughtering. I mean, the young lady's a renaissance woman when it comes to who she is. She does it all. It, a lot of people can't do it all. So shout out to everybody who's in the chat doing it all, all right, who wear many hats. Y'all grab her up. She's one of our amazing members, all right? If you want to join the membership, just do it. Just do it again. Boom docking with Boomer. I haven't seen you in a while, but it feels so good to see you. I hope you're doing good. Happy New Year. Everybody, if I don't see anybody else until next year, right? I got three words for you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. I'm going to get done with the yapping and we're going to start crafting, but I just want to get through the comments. But good morning, everybody. Shout out to Good Morning Sunshine. She said she loved coming here because I, I'm like a, like, I'm like some, bringing some sunshine and it feels good because you guys bring that sunshine to me. So you light me up. I'm lighting you guys up. We're, we're, we're exchanging, exchanging that good thing, right? Isn't that beautiful? Cammy said he has some black coffee, guys, with some French vanilla syrup in it. Okay, I never heard of French vanilla syrups. Okay, <laughs> the French vanilla syrup was a Christmas present. Oh, okay. Well, hey, don't run too, don't hey, don't go too wild with the syrups. Okay, it gets a little sticky. Anyways, TT Candy Candy has walked in. I just want to say that. Can we just say that <laughs> she's in the building? What's going on, TT? You better have a good morning and come on up in here. Mary, how are you doing today? Y'all come on in, hit the thumbs up, guys. I'm so happy to see you all. This morning, read your names and on this morning. Oh, and since then, my daughter is now going to be going to university. She is going to become a nurse. Well, she graduated college as a personal support worker. Now she is going as a man. <clears throat> Ain't that amazing how she just she's like hungry for more? Let me go do something else. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. I'm so I know you're happy. I know you're proud. You know, it's it's nothing like that. You know, you always want your kids to do more than what you did. So always want our kids to do more like. You know, I, I want to do something, yes, but I just want you like, there's so many opportunities now. Like, they can just do so many things. It's like, man, you know, just go do it. Do everything. I don't care. Whatever it takes, like, I, just let's do it. Let's let's figure out how we can get this thing done. And thank you, everybody, for showing some love to Beverly Lee. It's her birthday, y'all. Also, we got Rosie in the building. Hey, Rosie, good morning. Hello, hello, guys. Come on in. Let's get into this crap for the day. I'm drinking my water, guys. You know, I'm trying to keep myself together here. Um, And it feels good. Just can I say that? <clears throat> I had to get a little sweet, guys. Every time my throat gets dry, I remind myself to sit, all right? Because I don't want to have a dry throat. I talk a lot, and I need a little water to get me right. So let's get into this crap and say, guys, again, we're ready. I know you're so proud. I know you are. I know you are. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing just to have your, your children that you raise up. You know, the best that you can do, and for them to just attach themselves, to learn, to pick up something that you taught them. You know, to pick up something. And then want something for themselves too. Sometimes we can have children who like they just like they're taking they're being taken care of, like, man, I can get used to this. We got some of our children like, man, I gotta go try this thing out for myself. I have to do this. I have to try this out. So shout out to the youth, the young adults who are working, making their way in this world. You are our future. So please don't forget it. Not no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, but you are our future. So let's get into today's craft, guys. Again, I'm super excited to finish this baby up today. And see what it's going to finish up looking like. Again, on this stitch, we're doing some puff stitches as well as some single crochets. So if you're familiar with any puffery, you'll know about this. But again, if you're not familiar, this pattern actually breaks it down for you. So that way you can learn it on your own. So again, I'm going to pull my phone up where you'll see not only my face, but you'll also see my hands that are don't that don't have any uh, artificial nails on them. Because I've been working out. And every time I try to work out with nails on, I'm going to have to get like a little shorter sporter 
or like trim them really short. Cause I can't, I can't really get my workout on. I see some people who do. You do a great job working out with nails, but for me, guys, it's just like a no. I cannot. It doesn't feel comfortable for me. But I like again, I'll try to do a shorter itty bitty nail. All right, let me get into my stream yard. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, <clears throat> I'm just happy, guys. So, is anybody making some breakfast this morning? Anybody messing around with a little bit of breakfast? Here we go. Let me see. What are we doing here? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't understand. As many times as I do this, guys, I still forget what I'm doing sometimes. I still have that little, they call it, what do they call it? A brain fart? I think they call it that. <laughs> I think sometimes people, we, I still have that. I still do every day. It's like, oh, you, just, you don't go live every day. You just don't. So here we go, guys. Let me go ahead and mute some things and get some stuff together. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right. And let me slide this on down. Come on now. Come on down. Oh, my goodness. All right. Are we there? Are we good? Testing, testing. All right. We're good. Let's see if there's no blur on my fingertips today. It's a little good. It's okay, guys. All right. All right. Here we go, y'all. I'm about to make some hot cocoa. Ooh, gee. And that definitely sounds amazing. I'm just going to throw it there, guys. I love my hot cocoa. Anything chocolate, I'm a big fan of. Like, I just, I'm a, I don't know why. I think ever since I was a young kid, I love chocolate. I remember when I first had M&M's, they had, you know, the peanut, and then they also offered plain. And those were where they were just no nuttery in there. And I gravitated toward the fully plain, give me that plain, give me that all chocolate. I don't need any nuts in there. And I just lo been loving chocolate ever since I was a kid. It just that's just what it was. So I'm a big chocolate lover. So, anyways, let's get into the craft on this morning. All right, guys, this pattern calls for a. Um, what should I say? This pattern actually calls. Thank you, Katrina, for that. This pattern calls for a size five millimeter hook and a worsted weight yarn. All right, very very easy. So this is where we left off on yesterday. All right, guys, and we did the. Um, this is what you will call your brim area or your band, okay, around the head. And we did the band, we did the stitches about about four rows of single crochet. Some of them were just around regularly and some were in the third loop. So we have a little bit of some texture just starting it off. You also have a couple of rounds of puff stitch. All right, guys? All right, so now we're going to continue on with the next round. Good morning, Lulu, how are you? You better get in here if you don't have this young, beautiful, sweet lady. You better tell her good morning. Go enjoy her channel. Now, we watched a beautiful video of her last night where she is illustrating so many people. We watched two of her videos. She's doing so many different things, collaborations, shouting people out, showing what she's working on, finishing up. And it's beautiful to see, all right? Don't miss out on don't miss out on Cindy, who represents Lulu's treasure trove, all right? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? <clears throat> all right, guys. So let's go ahead and see what round we're on. So we can make this thing happen, guys. Come on in. Do we have any hat makers in the chat? Are some of you intimidated by beanies? Or are some of you like, man, give me a beanie any day? There was a point in my time of my life where beanies were everything to me. And every time I saw a crazy, beautifully textured beanie pattern, I was spending money. I didn't care if it was five, six, seven, eight bucks. I was like, hey, I always talk to my husband, you know, because I, you know, I always like to buy in bulk, okay? I, I don't like to buy things in ones. Like I have to buy things in twos at least. So I'm just like, I'm always looking for a sale. I'm always looking for these little pattern deals. And I'm like, honey, oh, well, such and such has these pattern deals. And he's like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah. You know, and I'm spending bukus and ukus of money on, on patterns that I always don't get to do, but I just need to have them, right? Because I always have this fear of one day this pattern is going to be discontinued. And there was a couple of times it actually happened. Oh, and even free patterns are just disappearing on me. So I just like to buy stuff as much as I can. And so I was so crazy about these hats because I was making them all the time. That's all I was making. And they were so easy to make. I mean, they're, they're quicker than a cardigan. They're quicker than certain things. So I was on a beanie frenzy, guys. I'm going to throw it out there. I was on a beanie frenzy. 
So now we are going to be working on round six, guys. All right. So if you're working with me, guys, I'm on round six. We're going to get into it, guys. And I'm going to put in some more colors. I want to throw this out there. I want to make it Valentine-y. So I was like, ooh, let's break up some of the pink and some of the red with a little bit of whitery. All right, guys, let's get into some of that. So I am going to be grabbing some of my white. And we're going to break up some of that red and some of that pink. And we want to brighten it up just a tad bit and, and kind of give it that little pow pow look. Okay. A little, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, accentuate the pink and the white. All right. Now let's get into it. I could have put a little white here. I wish I would have did that here for this round, but it's all good. It's all good. All right. It's all good. I'll probably make some more. I might, I'll make, I, I probably will make maybe an adult size one too, just for fun, you know? I'm also working on an afghan that's behind me. As some of you will see, I'm probably getting that done over the next couple of days or so, whatever time I can put in, you know. I really don't like to put too much. Let me break this off, guys. I don't think I have my scissors available somewhere. I know, I know where they are, but I'm just going to join in some white now. Okay. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, you love beanies? Oh, do you? So, do you like to wear them or what? I don't see you wearing any beanies, daughter. Okay, okay I got to see you. So, I listen to the crochet voice in my head that say, oh, no, you could never crochet that. And I believe the cro Oh, no. Yes, I'm going to be teaching my husband how to make a beanie. That is something that he's never done. He's done a lot of the flat panels and blankets and things of that sort, the granny square. But he's never done a hat. So, I want to teach him to do one. I have a tutorial on a basic beanie. It is me following a pattern. It's basically a pattern where I'm showing how to read patterns and also how to make a beanie. It's a basic beanie from Red Heart. Um, and so it's very, very super simple, but it's also fun to make. So if you want to look at my tutorials, I do have a pattern about reading the patterns and also making this hat. And it's using half double crochet. So it's off the chain. All right. So what we're going to do now is join, we're going to chain one, and now we're going to single crochet in the first stitch and each stitch around. Okay. And that's going to be in the top of each puff stitch and each uh, puff stitch chain. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. All right. Let's go ahead. We're just going to single crochet all the way around. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing. Single crocheting all the way around. All right, guys. So let's do it. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. So it's going to be. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I just had to make sure I'm doing this right, guys. Sometimes I crochet a little too fast and I miss a stitch or I get myself confused. You know, so when I'm doing something I've never done before, I really like to be very cautious because I will frog a bit. Yesterday I was doing all kinds of froggery because I was crocheting so fast, you know, and I've done so many different patterns that some patterns are so similar that I, I already automatically know what's going to happen next. But then sometimes they switch it up on me. And then I'm like, oops, I didn't read. <laughs> he said, I wear them when it's cold. I was like, oh, I got to see you. I, I got to see you rocking that beanie. I got to see you. Everybody hit the thumbs up. How's everybody doing, guys? <clears throat> I always like to have these fun little topics with you all. And I was going to say, hello, Samantha, welcome in. I wanted to ask this question to you guys because you know I have to do it, right? Have you ever had any of your family members actually... Have you have you ever noticed that you were outdoors or in a public area uh, looking embarrassing a little bit? And has anyone in your family ever let you do so without ever telling you until you find out yourself? All right. And I'm talking about those crazy wild moments where maybe you get a little something in the nose. Maybe you have something in your hair. Maybe you have... Um, something in your teeth or you're stepping on some toilet paper and you actually have been out with this and no one has told you you're with a group of friends or family and no one has ever notified you. Uh, you just look down yourself and you notice like, what? You guys let me look like this? That happened to me on, I believe, Monday night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I am a big fan of telling me, letting me know what's going on. So if I'm live right now and the sound is horrible and it's scratchy and it's itchy, or the camera views, something's wrong. Um, a lot of times I know when the camera's wrong because it'll tell me I have a bad connection. But like if the, cam the sound is off or whatever's going on, or you didn't hear me, or you something else, I like to be no, I like to know about it because I want to do something about it. You know, I'm a big fan of not just accepting 
what's there. I want to make things better, right? So tell me, if you see a little lint in my wig, feel free to tell me or gently begin to pull, right? Don't pull to the point where the wig is on the ground, but you can gently pull a little bit of the lintery out, okay? Um, this happened Monday night. I got to do it. What's going on? It says, what says Dorita's in the building? Hello, hello. How did I sleep last night? Well, you know what? I want to say this. I slept like an infant. Yes, I did. I slept beautifully like an infant who was who was slept good. You know, not an infant that's colicky and getting, a, no, <laughs> not that infant. I'm talking about an infant who is like, you know, maybe sucking their thumb or maybe a good bottle, or maybe some of mommy's milk. Uh, one of those infants, all right? So I want to say that um, we were at the bowling alley Monday night. We're on round seven now. And we're just having a good old time. Okay. And I'm crocheting and I'm just having a good time and I'm enjoying talking to my husband's bowling buddies and things of that sort. And we're just having a good time. Right. So hours have gone on. I've laughed. I've joked. And I happened to, I think I was doing a video. I might've posted a video or something. I don't know. Or was looking in the camera to maybe make a picture post or something. I happened to look in my phone and notice a big white glob. <laughs> embarrassing, right? A big white glob of a hair products on the side of my face. I have no idea how it got there. I don't know if I forgot to rub it in, if I accidentally dropped it on my face while I was putting it on another area. I really don't know how it happened, right? All I know is that I had engaged in a conversation with my youngest son for a lot of the night. I engaged in lots of conversation with my husband and also his bowling friends. There was no one to say, hey, what's that on your head? What's that on your face? No one said it. No one said it. I don't know if they were looking at it on the low. I don't know if they were having side chatter about it. I finally saw it and I finally saw it and I actually cleared it up and got it together. And I asked my husband, I said, well, can I ask you why didn't you tell me I'm walking around globby? And he said, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Now, I'm going to throw out there. My husband has used that excuse for several years. Okay? I'm going to throw out there. Everybody doesn't do that. But he has used that excuse for several years. I didn't see it. And I'm just like, well, maybe you do need your glasses because I, you got me out here walking around crazy. You got me looking crazy and you didn't see it. So it's just hilarious to me. Uh, sometimes, I guess, our family, I don't know if... <clears throat> Family and friends don't want to say it or they just think that we're going to see it. It's kind of like the situation where someone is in trouble and they need some help and then someone needs to call 911 and we automatically think, oh, somebody else will call. So we don't call and we never know who's going to call, you know? So I guess that's the case. We'll say, it. we'll leave it there. Yes, there's going to be a making me today, Samantha. Thanks for asking. Yes, I am back. I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, if you're wondering how I was doing, I'm doing really good. Um, but I have a little bit of a frog in my throat. It's riveting right now. So I will be wetting it down with a bit of a water gallon because I have to get myself together. If you're coming in, hit the thumbs up, all right? <clears throat> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> okay, let me go ahead and wet this whistle. All right, here we go. Okay, so Cousin Angie has an amazing announcement, guys. She's in the building, and she is on that gold squad. She has an announcement. She's letting us know that <clears throat> she is doing a Cellavision YouTube pop-up shop live. All right, so guys, this is a chance where you guys can spend a little dinero. Some of you guys have, your pockets have been replenished after Christmas time. And so if you are those peoples, all right, this is your chance to have some fun, guys. All right, so it is going to be live. Now this was Parlez Vu Crochet, Classy Kim, and this is going to be tomorrow night, all right, which is Friday night, okay? And this is going to be about uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 6 Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, if it's if you have the if you have some time in your day, please feel free to go and check it out. Uh, support, love on the family, lift her up, and encourage her, guys, because um, <clears throat> she doesn't always get to go live. So it's a, it's going to be a very very pleasant time to enjoy her um, and and do that. It's going to be really great, 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 great. 
I know it's going to be a good time. So I hope you guys are there. Be there and don't be square. That's all I can say about that one. Super excited for you, cousin. I'm, I'm happy. I love when we can get into doing things uh, for your business. I love that you can do some collaborations. I'm loving that we're able to get more, um, more, you guys, my wording, more. I'm glad that you're getting more exposure. There we go. Round. There we go, guys. Look at there. I love you. I love my makeup. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I after the workout today, guys, I actually stayed up. Yeah. Usually after usually after a workout. I just get beat up so profusely. Usually um uh, I, I, I just go home and I go to sleep and I just tell myself that I'll make it. I'll make it on time. And a lot of times I don't. So today I wanted to make it on time. And when I got to sit down, my umbrella fell over. Oof with the light in and I got up to grab the umbrella. Next thing you know, the internet shuts off and I'm just like, it's gonna be, I promise you I was gonna be on time today. And everything just started doing what it normally does. So I didn't get upset about it. I didn't stress over it because I know things happen, right? <clears throat> but I did have time to put some makeup on. So I came home after the workout um, and I began to drink some protein and had a rice cake and I, put my earphones on, just played music and I blasted it in my ears and I just started putting makeup on, guys. I was just like, you know, this is what I do. And the music gets me up, guys. I'm, I'm so tired. My body's just tired. I've been beat up at the gym, bench pressing, guys, trying to get this arm flab off. <laughs> hey, guys, you got you to gotta blast that arm flab off. Guys, my, flab, my arms are flabbing like wings. I got to get this off. So I'm working that off, working on the abs, working on the, the arms, the chest, really, and, and the arms are with it. It's like a little connection ordeal. And I'm working on that and I'm just over here just getting it in and it felt good. I sweated really good. I did 200 jumping jacks. Um, so I'm just getting ready for the health, the healthy thing. And I, I always say next we're going to do single crochet decreasing. Oh, okay. So that says single crochet decreasing. Okay. Single crochet in the next. Oh, okay. So we're just going to single crochet decrease first. And then single the next 17. So yes, that's what we're doing guys. Okay. But I got to go in the back loop. I forgot about that, guys. We got to go back her. We got to go back her, guys. Okay, so let's find the spottery back here to dig in. Okay. Well, uh, so I got to find it. Sorry, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's do a little decreasing. I got to get in there. Get in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but anyway, sorry. Don't pay attention to me. So... Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, so I was looking at this post and they were like, people about, you know, losing weight and different things, getting healthy. And sometimes when you're trying to get healthy, you'll have people in your ear and they'll say, oh, you're good. Just leave it like you are. You're good. You lost enough weight. Or you've done enough of this. You've done enough of that. And the post was saying that, you know, I mean, I understand that that's how you feel, but I'm doing this for me and my own reasons. I'm glad that you believe that I feel and I look good enough to quit, but I don't have quit in me. So even though you feel I should stop, I have so much go left in me that I can't stop. I have so much left in me that I can't just give up now. I'm doing this for a health thing, guys. I'm 35 years old and I should be able to run. I should be able to take flights of stairs. I should be able to walk on beaches. I should be able to jump and hop. I should be able to do that. I don't have any breaks or sprains or fractures in my bones. So there is no reason why I should not be doing that. So I want to get healthy. I want to prove to myself that I can do it. And I want to prove to myself that I tell myself that I love myself. But if you really love yourself, what will you do to show how far will you go for your love? I have gone so far for so many people to love on them, giving my time, my patience, my energy, my mind, my spirit, my soul to be broken and heartbroken. I've never ever had a heartbreak, a heartbreak. I feel like you just didn't know what else to do. You've given all of that away to someone who didn't even understand how to handle it, but you know how to handle you. So I say, you know what? I got to handle me the best way I can. If I, if I can't have cake and ice cream, no cake and ice cream. If I have to work out a little bit longer, I'll work out a little bit longer. If I have to not go to restaurants for a while, I won't go there because I need to be able to breathe. I, I need to be able to breathe. Like I'm 35 years old, I should be able to breathe. 
You know what I'm trying to say? If I'm not hooked up to an oxygen tank or I don't have lung issues, I should be able to breathe. So it's just a time and a year and a season where you have to understand well, how much do you love yourself? And I always speak that self-love. I always speak it, but I just have to be about it. it talking is so cheap. It's so cheap. So I, one thing I want to say is, not only am I doing this because I love myself, but I'm doing this because I want to be fair to my loved ones, guys. I'm being fair to my loved ones, right? Hey, you got to be fair to your loved ones because if you know your loved ones are like, you you need to be around more. So if you, are, if, hey, if we got to be fair to our loved ones, guys. All right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Guys, I need three more. Guys, don't pay attention. I'm just blabbering. You guys know what I do. You know what I do, guys, okay? So I am blabbering. I'll get back to your comments shortly. 15, I just want to finish this. 16, and 17. Guys, I just got to blabber. I just do it. All right. So what are we doing here? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to do another decrease. So this is kind of making it smaller. If you guys know what a decrease is, uh, we're kind of shaping the beanie. So that way it kind of like starts to form into the beanery, the hat shape, you know, and it's kind of sculpting the skull of the little infant that we're making this for. All right. So we just did a decrease. Now we're going to continue going around. Hey, so, hey, so, so, you know, and again, everybody's journey is different. You know what I'm trying to say? So okay, I don't mind sharing what I'm doing, guys, but it's really how bad you want that thing. I'm just throwing it out there. You know, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. You know, I mean, I always jump, jump into the boo thing and the love thing because it's so easy to jump into. But have you ever been in a relationship or, you know, had that little love and you like, man, I'll go anywhere you want me to go. I'll go wherever you want me to go. Like, hey, I don't care if you move to San Francisco. Or if you get locked up, I'm not just throwing out there, but if you get locked up, I'm coming to visit you on the weekends. I don't care how many buses I got to catch, how much money I got. If I got to pawn my VCR in, I'm coming to see you. How bad do you want this thing? I was like, I want it. I was last night, I was making a salad and I've been using Italian dressing because Italian dressing has a lot less calories. And I was like, man, the dressing came out super weird in the beginning. I guess I didn't shake it up enough. So it came out really like, like oily or whatever. And so I put some more on it and then like, I still wasn't really full. And I was like, man, I just got to eat some lettuce. I just started eating lettuce out of the bag. It wasn't really the best choice because it tasted a little, like the little pesticide but I still ate it. And I just was eating like handfuls of lettuce because I wanted, I hadn't eaten lettuce. I don't like salad. I don't, you know, I'm not the person that's like, oh, eat your salads. I mean, I know we should eat them. I just don't like the taste, but it got to the point where you're like, sometimes you just, it's not really about what you're eating and all the tasting. You're just like, I know this is healthy for me. So I know it's going to wash me out and flush me out because I, you know, me, I struggle with the little bathroom usage. So I got to do whatever I got to do to get that thing out. And I know that salad will do it. I know that water will do it. So it just depends on when you got to make your mind up. I don't want anybody to be like, oh, you got to go to the gym right away. You don't. I don't want anybody to feel like you got to just start doing all these crazy exercises right away. The first thing is making up your mind. Making up your mind because you're going to be around family members who are going to have cake, ice cream. You're going to be around family members who's going to offer you food. The minute you tell them that you're losing weight, they're going to say, hey, we got you want to go to such and such with us? And you're like, you never offered me ever a dinner. You never offered me that time. And now that I'm doing something, you want to offer me this. You're going to get that, guys. So when you make your mind up, those types of offers are not going to really tempt you. But it's going to take at least hours for me. It always takes me like this big, huge, at least one month of like strictness, I like like super shit, like nothing, nothing that tick, nothing that tips me. Like I can't have sugar. That's my weakness. I'm not gonna have one bit of it. I can't have pops. I can't have fried foods. I can't like certain things. I will just not have. It's not even, oh, can you get no? It's the weekend. No, you don't start off a weight loss journey with cheat days. Like I just don't. Not for me, because I'm I just came from that. Like I just came from the poison and all that eating and the heaviness and all that and sleeping and eating until I so full that I can't even open my face and my eyes. I need I need to get away from that as much as possible. So I do like a month of just nothing of nothing of that sort, nothing. And or as long as you can handle it. You know, don't get yourself hangry about it where you're like sneaking and scarfing down Big Macs on the low because you're 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 you know depriving yourself of some things that you enjoy. But at least that full month and I'm just not having any of that type of stuff. It's like you're you're fasting from what's you know what's hindering you. And you got to think about it, like, man, it's really hindering me. I eat too many of these sweets. I ain't going to have nothing but a gut. I'm gonna, my chin is going to be this. I'm going to do that. You know, it's, it's, it's not doing anything good for me. I have that one month of that detoxing. 
And then after that, I start working out. I'm like, let me, I've got my detox in. Now let me incorporate some movement. Because if you think about that, you just cut out pop, you just cut out fried food, you just cut out sweets, you just cut out chips and dips, you just drop some weight. And there's nothing that you can tell me. I don't care if you didn't do one ounce of exercise. If you dropped any of the things that were hindering you, if you dropped it for that full month, oh, you're going to drop some weight. So when you drop that weight, you got to get a new ounce of energy. You're going to get something new that you didn't have before because you are losing some things that were holding you back. So now that you've got the chains off, all right, now you say, I'm free, I'm free. Now that you got the chains off, it's time to start moving because you ain't held back anymore. So now you're going to put some movement into it. Now, again, you don't got to do the craziest movement. It just depends on where you are, right? You might do a crazy movement one day a week and the rest of the days you might do some walking. Now, don't forget to when you walk, don't just do the smallest, the lightest. Put a little, make a little sweat, burn a little something, squeeze that tummy in a little bit. Do some work. Don't just, just do the minimum. All right, guys. A lot of us been doing the minimum for a little bit too long. All right. Let's do a little bit of extra. Let's do a little bit of extra. And so put that little walk around the track, whatever you want to do, walk at home, walk away to pounds has been a big save, a big, big help for me for years. Um, free, free on YouTube awesome videos I'm doing this since i was 15 years old and it's been awesome for me um you can do things at home you don't have to go to the gym and let anybody see if you're not comfortable with that that's not i had to start going there because i got so comfortable at home that i was going to cheat myself and i i told my husband this i said i can't do this at home anymore for some reason my mind is going to tell me to cheat my mind is already i'm as i was so in such a like this little space where I was like, man, I'm going to cheat myself. If I don't go, if I don't get in front of people, I'm going to be at home and I'm going to say, oh yeah, it worked out. There was like a week of I tell people I was working out. I'm like, oh yeah, I worked out today guys. I did this. I didn't do anything. I ate, I watched TV. I slept. I did nothing for a whole week. And I told everybody that was working out. I was like, well, that's not only am I cheating myself, but I'm lying now. Like I'm like, I'm, I'm doing some crazy. Like this is not even, it's not even worth it. So I had to get up and go to the gym. And my dad, he was like, he paid for us to have this membership. And I was like, I need to get into this gym. I need to use it. And there's no excuse that. Like, you know, you're like, oh, I don't have a membership. I don't can't afford it. When somebody else comes out their pocket to do it, you're like, man, I'm going to sit there. <clears throat> yes, I got to go. Uh, so I went and and I went the first day by myself. And I didn't do the heaviest workout, but I just kind of played around with the machines and I worked a little bit. And I got on some treadmill and I did a few different things, which was really great. And end up coming out really, really good and fun. But my dad was like, you know, well, let me just show you something. Oh, and why did he do that? He came in and he started like showing me how the machines work and what to do in good form and things of that sort. And he had no mercy on me. I told him not to have mercy on me. This is what I told him. But I thought he was still going to be like, oh, it's my daughter. So sweet, loving. And he liked the fact that I said no mercy. And he just tried to take me out the first day, all right? He told me about running on the treadmill, putting it in on incline and lifting weights and toning and like doing the whole package at one time and what to drink, what to eat and different things of that sort. And it, it was been a really big help. And um, I just went from that 254. And I got on a scale yesterday, guys, and it was like so scary. I'm not, I don't know. I got on the scale yesterday, guys. We're gonna let's change, let's change our stitches. Let's go. Look at this, guys. Oh, oh, Valentine's round. As I got on that scale yesterday, let me change colors. I was like the nerd because you know, I'm gonna throw this out there. When I was sick, which was like what a couple weeks ago, or I mean over about a couple weeks, a week and a half, I was really sick. Y'all know this. I wasn't able to go live. My throat was all groggy and itchy, you know. <laughs> couldn't do my screams, couldn't talk to you guys like I wanted to. Couldn't be here. Was absent all the time. You guys are like, where are you at? Are you quitting on us? I was home. And I got so discouraged because I wasn't able to get back here. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to do pink. I want to do red. We're gonna make this baby. We're gonna take it to another level. We're gonna do red. We're just gonna alternate the colors. So I um I was at home and I was sick and I was so, so discouraged because you go from being active and you're like, oh, okay, I'm fine losing some weight. I'm fine looking good. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm, I'm feeling like my age a little bit. I'm looking like my age a little bit. And you go from like, you can't hardly breathe and you're all congested and, you know, like what is going on? And like, I'm like trying to get this, like, you know, I had to start losing weight so fast and I was like so happy about it. Um, but one thing about it, I started, 
um, I had to do measurements. And it's not only about the weight, it's also about the measurements. So I started doing, I started checking my measurements. And when I lost from a 45 inch stomach to a 39 inch stomach, I had to get excited, right? I would measure my stomach as it was like 45 inches around. I was like, oh, okay. Pregnancy gut, right? I would have measured it. I try to do it like every couple months or so just to see, you know, because if you're lifting weights and you're toning, you're going to be losing those inches and you want those inches to be lost because uh, you, it helps you to not have such a, the flab. So it's good to do the cardio, the working out, but it's also good to lift up a bit of weight so that way you can tone it. Because if you just do nothing but working on treadmills and doing things of that sort, you're going to be left with so much flab because you're just dropping weight and you're not gaining any muscle. So now you're going to try to build it back up again. And it's so hard to build something up after you just lost nothing and all you have is skin. Like that's that people. That's when people have to go get surgeries a lot of the time because they have not, they just done nothing but treadmill running and jogging and they never got a chance to lift up that weight because they got intimidated by it. Um, and so next thing you know, you're just flabby everywhere. And I mean, it happens. It's not the, the worst thing, but now you got to deal with something else to do, you know? So I was like, oh, can these inches drop? But I'm, I, my, my pounds aren't dropping and I was so discouraged. So while I was sick, I thought it would be the best idea for me to enjoy like just living it up. All right. I was acting a fool. All right. Uh, I I just I did. I, I ate things I wasn't supposed to eat. I got a little heavy on the ha holiday knob. I did. I enjoyed a little coffee with sugar and cream. I didn't mind a pie slice or a cake slice. I enjoyed a few slices or a few pieces of barbecue chicken. There were some things I, I enjoyed. And the reason why I was enjoying them was because I told myself, like, man, you're not losing any weight anyways. I think I had just forgotten about the inches that I dropped. But I I told myself, like, you're not dropping that weight. You're not dropping those pounds. So what's the point? Just go ahead and give up. And those th those voices was in my head so loud that I was, like, really listening to them. And it's really horrible, guys, because we can talk. We can be our own worst enemy, and we can talk ourselves out of things. Y'all, I was ready to just turn it around. I never told my dad this. I know he he had said, you know, we'll come back working out whenever you feel better. And I was like, okay. I didn't tell him that because I know he was, you know, rooting for me. I know my husband was rooting for me. I know my children, everybody was rooting for me. But I never told anybody that because, like, I just felt like I was a failure because I wasn't losing anymore. So I just started, like, secretly. I mean, it wasn't a heavy picking, but it was, like, a little small. It was I was doing things I didn't care. I, I, got, I had a I didn't care mode. And I didn't care. Like, I was like, I don't care. Like, I felt so bad. So when I got feeling better, you know, over the last couple of days, and I've been going back to the gym, I was like, I was ready for it. I could breathe again. I could move a little bit more. I got excited about it. And so I was like, man, I, my my year goal, I wanted to be, like, in the 220s because I'm like, I've been in the 230s, before, you know, before. And it's been a long, long time since I've been in the 220s. And I want that so bad. Like, I need to be in the 220s. I don't want to end my year like with the same thing. I need something new. Like I need to get hype. I need to be proud of myself. I need a milestone. I need something, you know, I need something to push me. Sometimes we just need an extra push. We need some type of accomplishment to say, I, you got this, you can do it. So with my dad, we went to the, we went to work out yesterday. <clears throat> and I, I never really get in a scale and stuff there because I just don't like, <laughs> I don't like it. We get in a scale. I got on a scale yesterday and uh, we were getting ready to leave. And it was kind of like mosey and whatever. I ended up getting a scale or whatever. And the scale that's at the place is like the scale at home. And they usually always have the same numbers. And because I was testing it out, I'm like, hmm, you know, all scales are different. So I get on the scale. And when I get on there, guys, <clears throat> I like think the scale's broken. Like that's my first thought. And I'm just like, this scale's broke, whatever. And I'm like, what? Get out of here, whatever. And I get on the scale, guys, and it said I started when I before I start when I started working out with my dad. I was trying to get ready for this weight loss competition at church, and I was going to use that as a catalyst to start my weight loss journey. And I was 254 pounds. The biggest I've ever been was 311, and I got down to 232, and I ended up just picking it back up again. I just let go. I don't know what happened. It was like, you know, life happened. So I just started eating all of it again. I got back up to two. I got back up to 254. So I started working out October 24th or October 22nd, 21st, 21st. October 21st, I started working out. 
and that was 254 at that time. And yesterday when I got on that scale, guys, it said 227. Because I was like, what? 227? And I asked my dad, I was like, do you think this number is real? He was like, yeah, it's real. I'm like, I don't know. I was like, can I, sh you think I should share? <laughs> like, should I go live and tell people this? And he was like, why not? And I was just like, I wanted it so bad, y'all. And I almost ruined it. Like, I almost went back to the old me and just started scarfing down chips and dips. Like, I just, because I didn't, I, st I had, I lost, I lost faith in myself. I lost faith in myself. And I was really about to hinder myself because I just didn't think I was going to make it, y'all. And it happens all the time. Those thoughts come to our head where we feel like we can't make it. You know, we might look at other people and they're doing something or we just hit a plateau. We're like, well, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. Like, what else can I do? You know, I don't know. what is. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? I don't know. I was having that moment and I was like, man, I'm just done. Like, I'm doing all this. It's not, it's not working. I'm done. You know, maybe they say you can't really lose so much weight when you get older. As you get older, it's harder. So let me just quit. And I, I don't understand why it was so easy for me to let myself defeat myself. It was so easy for me to get to that point. But I'm telling you, I don't know what else. I think God was really trying to sit me down during that time because I needed that rest when I was sick. And when I was resting, like after that rest, I, I, I felt like I wanted it back again. Like after him, just like after me just laying around and like, not being able to do much but crochet and you know kind of got my creative juices and stuff flowing my husband said I was playing hooky and watching TV I did watch a couple of shows but while I was doing that guys I feel like that rest was so much needed because it, I came back and I was hungry to get healthy again you know I was hungry to get healthy again and it's something about that hunger is just a beautiful thing but I'm just glad I didn't give up and I just want to tell that for somebody who just you feel like you've been doing good but then you feel like man I don't know if I can make it you can. Don't give up. Just keep going. Keep going. If you have a bad day or you have a rough time, just continue on. It's okay. You had a bad day or you had a bad week. You don't, I don't care if you had a bad month. Get back on it. Get back on it. Sometimes we just don't feel like we can get back on it. We're like, oh, I had a bad week or a bad month. I might as well just stop and just forget all about it. No. Continue going on. Continue going on. And uh, because it, you got it. You got it. I know it's easier said than done, but just keep going. And I'm so glad that I just didn't allow myself just to give up because I'm telling you, I I felt like I was going, I felt like I, I was done, but I'm just so happy that I didn't give up, you know? I'm just happy about that, y'all. So we are on round 10 now. Okay, so let's see, one, two, let me see what these were. These were puffs. Okay, so these are puffs, that's four and five, so that's four or five. Okay, and then this is seven. Okay, that was eight. Okay, so I am on 10. Okay, so this is going to be single crochet in the first stitch and each stitch around. Okay, so now I'm probably going to do a little pinkery then. It's a little pink. Hey, Alan, welcome in the building. Hello, not the end. What's going on? Everybody's in the building. Guys, I'm doing my gap on. Hello, good morning, good morning. Like, the holidays always the real. My low cholesterol, like, ooh, we, oh, well, back to the drawing. There you go, back to the drawing board. I like that. I like that, guys. We got to do what we got to do. Get back to the drawing board. Don't let the drawing board defeat us, guys. Get back on that thing. Get back on it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much, Sister Rita. Thank you for the blessings and the awesome uh, scale in my basement and I are not on Wayne's turns. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Oh, my gosh. I'm just happy, guys. I appreciate you all that's in the building. Everybody's coming in. Thank you so much. And there's, there's, there's eating all that food to get your energy. I know. Thank you so much, Cammy. Thank you. I needed that. But you know what? I just got to remember not to eat the bad things. You know, like, like it's okay to eat some stuff, but don't just like, if I wanted to pick out, why didn't I just pick out on something healthy, you know? Or not necessarily healthy, healthy. I mean, but, I mean, healthy, but nothing like that's going to like kill me, like fried food or sweets. Like, let me just eat another packet of oatmeal or let me eat, let me drink a protein shake or something like that. You know, like, something like that. That'll be good for me. Or even just a smoothie, a fruit smoothie or something. Like, let me just dig into some fruits, you know, because I love all that type of stuff. But for some reason, when I'm like kind of like under a little stress mode, I always want to gravitate towards sweets or something like it's bad for me. I don't know why, because it's heavy. And I always want that heavy food to like clear my mind. And I, I mean, I guess that's what it's doing. I use that to like kind of like take my mind off of what's going on. How many minutes we got, guys? We got about 15 or about 13, so we got to get this done, right? 
All right, guys, let's see here. We got. Let me see how many rounds. I thought we were going to. Okay. I thought we were going to have less. I thought we had more. We don't got that many rounds. I just want to say thank you for everybody who's complimenting and showing me some love on that, guys. And uh, your story is so inspiring. Let us know that it can be done. Um, you should start a wellness channel. Should I? Okay. I'm going to start like a, um, like a, just a little vlog channel where I'm kind of like just a little behind the scenes about me ordeal. So you might get some of me, you know, while I'm working out and you'll get the behind the scenes stuff. You'll see me without the makeup on sometimes possibly without a wig on maybe, but maybe not, uh, but you're going to have that too. So I'm going to have that coming soon. Um, I'm just going to get my nonprofit channel up and running a little bit more and then I'll get that. I appreciate that, y'all. I really, really do. You said we made some homemade vegetable beef soup yesterday with a piece of Italian sausage. What? But not since it was just a homemade veggie. Man, that sounds heavenly. Oh, my goodness. I love soups. I'm a big fan of soups, guys. I really am. It's like this. It's a, it's a cold time right now, so people are um, killing the game. What's going on, Alvin? How you doing? Everybody hit the thumbs up. Y'all. Hello, welcome in. Elaine is in the building. How are you doing today? Happy Thursday. Yeah, so it's like the cold weather time where we're like, hey, uh, this is a time for us to enjoy what we call a little bit of the little roaster meals. You know, the meals in the roaster. Not only the meals in the roaster, guys, but also the crock pot meals, the one potter meal. Y'all, this is what it's time for, y'all. For those who haven't done any of that, just want to give you some ideas. <laughs> just want to give you some ideas. It's that time, y'all, where we are making the chilies and the chicken and noodles and chicken and rice soups and, you know, the clam chowders, the the potato soups, all right? Some of us have those potato soups, guys. I don't, you know, some of us have little bisques. We like a little bisque. Some of us like the broccoli and cheese soups, okay? Cream of broccoli soups. We got a lot of different stuff we can eat. It's a lot of stuff. My downfall was two slices. That's the uh, I was going to ask him to get some. Get some. Get some. Yeah. I love you too. And let me see here. Everybody show some love. So you got this one. Also, everybody's been in my downfall was the two slices of pound cake, lemon flavored with a cup of coffee. Mm. Okay. Hey. It's okay, but you know what What it is? Why do we, I, I was just thinking about that. I think it's not necessarily our downfall eating the sweets. It's when we want to eat them. You know, like it always sounds so good at the end of the night. No, let me get some sweets. I have no idea why it sounds good at the end of the night. I don't understand why it sounds good at the end of the night to eat them. I'm just going to throw it in. I don't know why we want to sleep on the pie or the cake, but it just sounds good at the end of the night. If we're able to eat them a little bit to the point where we're able to stay up a little bit on it, and if we do some movement on it, or if we, if we just don't sleep on the sugar, it'll be so much better, unless we're planning on working out in the morning or something like that. But sleeping on those sweets is what gets us, guys, because they just find us this little place on us to like, you know, that's what it does. Sleeping on the sweets, y'all. I know. Good morning, Grandma Mimi. You better get in here. How are you doing this morning? Happy New Year, Grandma Mimi. Happy holidays to you. I'm so happy to see you. You better get in here, Grandma. Grandma Mimi's in the building. If you don't have a Mimi cat, do show her some love. Okay, those crackers and bread with the soup always give me, oh, yes. And that's why I always try to say, go off your calories, guys. Always, hey, love you, TT. Have a great day at work. I always try to go off calories. I like, depending on, you know, like I always try to do like, like 1,200 calories or something like that. And I always like to do that because it helps out a lot. So now we're just front post singling all the way around. We got to get this done, guys. So, because you can look in your calorie, your counts on your crackers, and it might say 100. I always try to do, like, a lot of 100 calorie stuff because, you know, I want my meal, or if, my, if I have one meal, I want my meal to be, like, the most calories. So, my meal is going to be, like, anywhere from six, maybe 600 calories or something like that, depending on what I'm eating. But I don't want to, like, let anything else be my back, be calories for no reason. But I also want to make sure I'm burning some, too. So, if I'm burning some, I can always fit a little couple extra in if I need some extra but I don't want, like, look on the back of that calorie. It might say, hey, you can get six crackers for this much or you can get eight crackers for this much. So look and see what the serving size is. Like, those things on the back of the packages actually show us what a serving looks like. And I know I have always had at least two or three servings instead of one. So I always want to, like, do that. In the beginning, it's very, very good. Like, ever so long, your stomach's going to shrink. So that's why I say 
do um, in the beginning, cut out all those different things because your stomach's going to shrink, your appetite's going to shrink. You won't be able to fit any of that stuff in anyways. But if you look at the back of those things for something that you're going to have, and even when you get into deep healthiness and you're like already there, if you want some Hershey Kisses or you want whatever, look and look at that back of that package. They even have stuff that's like 100 calorie snacks, 70 calorie snacks. If you just feel like you don't want to even just risk it. Get some of those types of things too. They're really great on the go. They're great. A lot of them, like I have fiber bars, they're great to keep you going to the rest of the room, eh? You don't have to worry about being stopped up. But looking at those serving sizes will help you in all, you know, to help you know like how much a plate should look, what a plate should look like. You know? You know, so that's a really, really good thing. So yeah, that's what I've been just doing. I'm just I'm doing it for real. Cause I've always I've been up and down my weight all my life. Me and my husband. Ever since we got together, we've been doing this together up and down, up and all around. And so we both have said this time, we said we both gonna look at we looked at each other and was like, let's just do this for real, you know, because we want to do a honeymoon and we want to go out of town and we want to travel together. So we're like, we need to get this together, let's do it. So that's both of our goals. My husband has been working super hard and it's just a beautiful thing to see him. You know, like he's he hasn't gone up, he's just been going down and He's like super excited about it. He's been working and it's just a beautiful thing. So it, I'm not doing it by myself. You know, it's really hard when you are doing it by yourself, by yourself and you don't have that help. You know, when, you're, when, you're, when your spouse wants to do, you know, eat certain things or whatever. And it can be tempting because you like, I like to eat on my husband's plate when he has food. Like sometimes his food looks better and I want to taste it. Even it could be the same exact thing. So when we're doing this together, it makes it so much better. And I love that. Now, <clears throat> let's see. Now we're going to do double crochet decrease. Okay, and we're almost done, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to do some double crocheting, decreasing all the way around. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to do this just one stitch here. Okay, so. Chain two. Now we're going to double crochet decrease. All right. So we're going in the back of these third loops here. Thank you so much. What's going on? In the, what's going on? D-Rock. Look at nephew D-Rock in the building. So we did decrease and now we're going to double crochet. So we're just going to go all the way around. Decrease and double. So that's all we're doing. We're just, we're decreasing and doubling. Decreasing. And we are going to make decrease. No, decrease and then double. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, for that. I hope you guys are having a beautiful morning, y'all. Thank you so much for coming in here today. Okay, decrease and then double. So this is going to make it smaller for us, guys. For those who are in the building right now, we are actually going to make this baby smaller. So that way it can fit a little infant head, a little infant skull, cranium. All right, I'm doing this. Okay. All right, let's see. Single. Okay, so now we're just going to keep doing it all the way around. This is the pattern double, dec decrease, and then double, decrease, double. This is a double. And then this is decreasing. All right, so this is going to make it really small. Okay, this is a double. This is decrease. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a double. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up and coming in. And also, I appreciate you guys. Happy holidays to everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. All right, so happy to have you coming in. Thank you for all your support. Okay, let's see here. Okay, here we go. And now we're going to do a double crochet. And now we're going to do a decrease. Okay. We're going to do a double crochet. We're going to do a double decrease. All right. We got this one, and now we're going to do a two piece. Okay, decrease, and then we're going to do one. Okay, and decrease. Oops. 
Okay. All right. And now join to the beginning. So now it is shrinking up on us, guys. All right. It's shrinking up on us. There we go. A little shrinkery. Okay. Now that we have this, we are going to do single decrease around. Okay. So now we're going to do some white. I'm going to switch this baby to white really quickly. Okay. Switch this baby to white real quickly. Okay. I brought up a few needles the other night and I have no idea what I did with them that quickly, but that's okay. It'll be okay. All right, so let me find a white and we're going to change to white. I don't know what I did with the needles. I always put stuff somewhere randomly. I got a pouch somewhere with all my stuff in it. Anyways, <clears throat> that's one thing about drinking a lot of water, guys. I drink a gallon a day. One thing I'm going to tell you guys. This water's floating today, Lord. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we go, guys. Yes, everybody's getting out of here. Love you all. Take care. Have a beautiful new year. Great day, everybody. I'm going to finish this beanie up. And uh, I'll see you guys tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. Everybody's welcome to come on over if you are available. Okay. Have some fun. Come up on the panel. Show your finished objects, all those great things, okay? So let's get this baby done. This is the jelly beanie, okay, for anybody who's doing it. The jelly beanie is everything. All right, here we go, guys. So let me pull this out. This is by Loops and Love Crochet. All right, so now we're going to do a single decrease all the way around, single crochet decrease. So we're just tightening up. We're combining two stitches. All right, so instead of us actually working one stitch and one stitch, we're actually like combining two stitches all the way around. So if we started with 20 stitches, for example, we're going to end up with 10 stitches because we are the, we're just combining two of them at a the time, all right? So that's how we're gonna do that. We are just going to combine them because we want to shrink this hat up. We want this baby to be closed up and we don't wanna do it drastically. This is gonna give us a gradual, this is gonna give us a gradual shrinkage to the point where it's going to be shaped you know, if you do something gradually, it'll give it a nice shape. If you do it too drastically, guys, it will just be this sharp look, or it might be cinched to the point where it'll be kind of bunched up. This is kind of alleviate all the bunchery, and it's just going to give it that beautiful shape that we're looking for on a nice little beanie, okay? Again, this is a size of zero to three months. Again, you can choose whatever size you want from this pattern because it goes from zero to three months all the way up to adults, all right? So you got your child sizes, teen sizes, adult sizes. Look, now you're hungry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, make sure you drink some water. That's all I can say about that. That water is going to do some damage for you. That's all I can say. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and sink, slip stitch that together. And now it's saying single crochet all the way around. <clears throat> oh, well, now we're going to do another. We're going to go this again. We're going to do this again. Single crochet decrease all the way around again. Okay, they're not playing. Okay, so we're just gonna do it all the way around. For those who are getting out of here, y'all have a beautiful day. I am still here until I'm done with this hat. Cause I'm not leaving till I'm done. That's all I can say. I'm not going anywhere so I'm done. And then I'm gonna go and fall up under the bed. So if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna be doing next, it's going to be me falling into the bed, okay? Collapsing until I am asleep and unconscious to the point where I'm actually under it, okay? So that's how far and hard. I'm sleeping, all right? For those who knew, I went to sleep after 2 p 2 a.m. to wake up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym a.m. <laughs> and so I am going to sleep, I am. Yes, I am, okay? And I'll be back today at 6 p.m. because I want to get a little bit of rest so that way I can be energized for my 6 p.m. stream and then my 10, 30 p.m. stream and stuff like that, guys, you know? I don't want to be coming to you wrong. I want to come to you strong. So now that we have that, we're going to single crochet all the way around, and then we're going to weave this in. I'm going to show you how you do it. Now, again, I don't have my needle, so we'll do it the make do university way, okay? So it's not going to be that hard, but we'll do it the make do way. We'll make do with it today. 
and then I'll make sure I have my stuff set up a little bit better. As I told you guys, that's why I want to work on a little bit more preparedness. Hello, Mama Riz. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you, Mama Riz, for being here and uh, visiting. I appreciate you. Everybody that's coming in, thank you so much for coming in. Everybody that came in and hit the thumbs up for me. Thank you so much, guys. Okay? So, <clears throat> how y'all doing? Everybody, come on in the building. All right, so now that we have that, we want to go ahead and begin with a a little cinching, a little weaving in the end. So if you have your needle, what you would do is, I don't think I have any needles handy, do I? I don't know if I have any needles handy, guys. Right now, I'm just concentrating on not uh, spilling my water. Okay, anyway, that's another story. All right, guys, so we're going to just weave in these ends, and what we're going to do is we're going to go in and out, all right? We're going to weave this in and out, in and out, and if you had your needle, you would do that. You would just go in and out of the stitches back and forth, and this is going to create a drawstring, so that's all we're doing with this. We're just going around creating a drawstring because you are going in and out of your stitches, so if you go in and out of them, it is going to cinch it up, okay? This is one of the easiest ways to do so. Let me get this out of the way because I have these extra yarnies in the way and we can't see what we've done. Okay, so let's get that out of the way here. Okay, and so we're just weaving all the way in and out of all of these stitches, okay? And I just think this is absolutely adorable, guys. Imagine it's in an adult size. One of us are rocking it on a nice winter's day. <laughs> this would be adorable. I would wear this easily. I love texture. You know, I have a little bang out hanging out in the front. <laughs> yes, Happy New Year, everybody. I'm sorry, I haven't really been reading comments. My goal was to get this baby done by 11. And it's a past, way past 11 because I was doing so much yapping. So I didn't get to, and I thought it was less stitches. I thought it was less rows, rounds, I should say. I really did. I didn't look at the pattern. I was thinking I was going to be done. I thought it was going to be less rounds. I thought it was, you know, so that's what it was. I thought it was going to be over by now. So I kind of slow rolled it instead of reading the pattern. You're not supposed to read the pattern so their entirety, guys. <laughs> now that we have a drawstring up, guys, you're just going to cinch it, pull that really tightly, and then you're going to, if you have your needle, you're going to weave that in and the end. And then this is what it's going to look like. You're going to stuff those little, going to hide some of that stuff in there. <laughs> hide it, guys. Hide it. This is what it looks like, okay? Look at that. For a newborn, zero to three months, because you got a little zero to three month rascal in your life. Guys, this is so adorable. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to drop the link in the chat. All right. <clears throat> and I'm going to say, I love you all. Y'all have a beautiful day. This is today's craft. I thank you for listening to me, Yap. Thank you for listening to me, all that good stuff that I did today. Today is going to be your day. If you come back at 6 p.m. Eastern, you get to take, take over. All right. You can have me shut up and you guys get to come up on the panel and talk about your channel, your crafts, your craft from your channel. Come on up today at 6 p.m., all right? And that is going to be Thursday making me come on over and have some fun with me. I love each and every one of you guys. If I don't see you guys until next year, I want to wish you a very happy new year. Again, happy birthday to Beverly Lee Creates. And everyone that came in with a super chat or PayPal or cash app and join my membership, thank you for that, for your blessing. May God bless you a thousand times more. Everybody, take care. Be sweet. Don't be ugly like my granny always says. Take care, everybody. Love you all.